Okay, well here's a game that some of you should be familiar with if you were part of my channel in the early days. Uh, this was the second game I think that I ever attempted to LP. Butchered it horribly in my opinion. Uh, but it's going to get a, another chance here on the roguelike Mega Mix playlist. It is the game Ivan. I'm playing a modded version. Um, I'll have the links posted below in the description. Uh, and you can of course download the game and follow along yourself. There's multiple versions, multiple mods. Um, and they all change minor but ultimately significant things in the game. You can read through the descriptions, find out which one you think is best for you, or download them and try them all. You know, you've got plenty of time to, to do that. They're not going anywhere as far as I know. Uh, this is a very painful roguelike. I don't, I, as far as I know from what I've read, it's impossible to beat. The only way to beat it is to use glitches and bugs. Um, not that I know any of them. We're definitely not going to be beating the game unless there's some blind, a dumb stroke of luck um, that, that we managed to do here. I don't even know how to beat the game. I think we have to kill the priest, um, Atreus, at the temple, but we'll get there. You can uh, go to the configuration here. You can set your player's name, your pet's name. Don't worry about your pet. It's going to die uh, probably rather quickly. And some other options here. There's, um, <clears throat> on some of the other variations of Ivan, the modded versions, there's like a whole huge list of options that you can that you can change and cycle through. Uh, unfortunately, I can't record those versions because I use Fraps, this version that I'm using here. It's the only one that actually has a video driver that Fraps can record. I'm too lazy to learn how to use another recording software. Uh, mostly because none of the other software that I've tried will record both my microphone and my game audio. And I'm not going to be using programs like Audacity to record my voice and then try to match all that up. And, yeah, it seems like too much hassle for me. But here we go. We're just going to start the game. You couldn't possibly have guessed this day would differ from any other. It began just as always. You woke up at dawn and drove off the giant spider resting on your face. On your way to work, you had serious trouble avoiding the lions and pythons roaming wild around the village. After getting kicked by colony masters for being late, you performed your 12-hour routine of climbing trees, gathering bananas, Climbing trees, gathering bananas, chasing monkeys that stole the first batch of gathered bananas, carrying the bananas to the village, and trying to look happy when real food was finally distributed. Finally, you were about to enjoy your free time by taking a quick dip in the nearby Crocodile Bay. However, at this point, something unusual happened. You were summoned to the mansion of Riquel Dicos, the viceroy of the colony, and were led directly to him. I have a task for you, citizen, said the viceroy, picking his golden teeth. The market price of bananas has taken a deep dive, and yet the central government is about to raise taxes. I have sent appeals to High Priest Petrus, but received no response. I fear my enemies in Athenum are plotting against me and intercepting my messages before they reach him. That is why you must travel to Athenum with the letter I'll give you and deliver it to Petrus directly. Alas... You somehow have to cross the sea between. Because it's winter, all at Namzi's ships are trapped by ice and I have none. Therefore, you must venture through the small underwater tunnel connecting our islands. It is infested with monsters. But since you have stayed alive here for so long, the trip will surely cause you no trouble. You have never been so happy. According to the mansion's traveling brochures, Atnam is a peaceful but bustling world city on a beautiful snow fell, surrounded by frozen lakes, glittering in the arctic sun just like the diamonds of the imperial treasury. Not that you would believe a word of it. The point is that tomorrow, you can finally forget your home and face the untold adventures ahead. Now, whenever you first start off, you're going to start off on the world map on top of your city. Um, you'll see a cave nearby, and you are just on a small little itty-bitty island. There's nothing you can do except go into the city and uh, go into the cave there. And you do the regular up and down between the world map with the shift. You know, hold shift and press the, the comma key to go up into the world map. Or, well, I guess not to go up, but... You, you leave the edge of the map to go onto the world map. But when you're on the world map, you go down into the city. So yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. You're a roguelike fan, right? Right? That's why you watch these? You know some of the conventions by now. If you bump into someone, um, it'll give you the opportunity to attack them. We're not strong enough to go on a murdering rampage of the city. I doubt we ever will be. 
The banana grower encourager slashes the banana grower in the right arm with his hardened leather whip. The banana grower's leather gauntlet breaks. So, let's see. We'll press L to look around, and you can see this is us in the middle of our looking icon. You can move it around. There is a, a banana grower encouraging. He's standing here. He does not care about you at all. And let's see. There's a, a male tourist. He's standing there. He does not care about us either. There's a rock. It's a granite boulder. It doesn't care about us. Uh, there's a female tourist. They're laughing at the person getting whipped. There's a child tourist. They'll probably take turns with their whips next. An empty house. Hey, there's our dog Glutton running around back there. Ouch! We slip on the banana pill and fall down. There's three banana pills there. Stupid clown. We'll pick those up. I don't, I don't think we can actually do anything with them. But we'll press Shift C and it'll it'll talk to the person nearest us. Huang Ming Pong, the sumo wrestler, smiles broadly. Tis the perfect occupation, this. I eat like kings. Or at least like kings who only eat the bananas. This is the sumo wrestler's club, and if we were fatter, we'd be able to go downstairs and maybe take part in sumo wrestling. I'm not entirely sure. I've never survived and gotten fat enough to actually uh, come back and go down here. Your figure is too slender for this sport. Eat a lot more and come back. Uh, we'll try to remember to come back. We're not going to attack the tourists as they go through town. Let's see, what's this guy have to say? Silva is the goddess of nature who protects all living things. Her earthly manifestation located in the elven nation of Lunathea is a giant holy tree which reaches the clouds. With my holy powers, I'm capable of reattaching severed limbs and removing various diseases and poisons. For a price, of course. Should I not bring enough income to the colony, the occupiers would make me a banana grower, too. In the old temple, we had a marvelous altar carved from a branch of silver herself, but the decos made firewood out of it. Dekos is a bastard, and if we get powerful enough, we're going to come back here and we're actually going to kill him. But that's for later, so we're just going to leave the town. Well, there goes a bat or something. Hang on. There we go. Leave New Atnam? Yes. Just walk to the edge. And uh, on the world map, go to the cave here and go down into it, and blam. This is the first entrance. It's just me and the dog now. And in this first room, there is one item that you must always get. We'll pick up that bottle of water that's not always there. There's a dead spider. We're not going to pick that up. But a lantern. Good luck leaving this room and making it through the, through the caves without it. The door resists. We pick up a can. And we punch down two large hedgehogs. I'm going to pick up the corpses. Actually, I'm going to eat both of the corpses. Not even going to pick them up. I'm going to eat pretty much everything I run across. Another banana pill. That's four that we've got. Let's go, Glutton. I'll have to eat everything before he does. Pick up an iron shield. Um, you know what? We're going to wield that on our hand. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, too hard for us to use because we're not strong yet. But we're going to wield it anyways. We'll be clumsy with it for a bit. Um, so we're going to be an unarmed boxer slash shield user for the time being. And we smash the giant mushroom. Me and Glutton double team that kobold. I'm not going to eat um, crazy things like kobolds. A ring of searching. Some things that you eat will give you magical powers. And uh, some will give you not so magical powers. Leather boot covered with blood. Glutton the puppy begins to eat the zombie. Rest in peace, Glutton. We barely knew you. Yeah, he'll probably die soon, or turn into a zombie that I'll have to strike down, who knows. A scroll of change material is laying here. I think you can use that on your gear to change it into other better stuff. Like if you have iron, maybe you could change it into gold or something. I don't think gold would be more defensive, but... Maybe it'd be more valuable to sell to a trader or something. What do we got over here? All of these levels are also random. We'll chop down these carnivorous plants. Ooh, in a chest. What will we open? A small chest with a square lock? It's locked. So you know what you do with locks? You kick them. The chest's lock shatters into pieces and falls off. And there's just a banana pill inside of there. And a zombie in the corner. We tag team and kill him. That was, t yeah. He had leather armor, AV of two, we'll take that, or, uh, I don't know what I picked up there. Damn it. Well, I think it was another shield. 
the antique yeah, shield that is extremely accurate and rather sturdy. And the body armor. I'll just put the leather armor on. So let's see. The iron shield weighs 2,800 grams. The teak shield only weighs 262. I think we're going to replace that. You know what? Actually, no, no. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll hang on to the the sturdy iron shield. I think teak is some type of cheap cheap wood, some cheap thin wood. A bottle full of poison. Not gonna pick that up. Not yet, anyways. Maybe on a different character. We kill the carnivorous plant and kill the spider. A severed head of a kobold is in this room. Probably something the spider didn't want to chew on. Hey, and the stairwell down. We're gonna take the stairwell down. I'm trying not to rush through this place too much because I do want to level up a bit, pick up some gear for the fight ahead. These uh, underwater tunnels are not too hard most of the time. Except for the very last boss in here. We smash through the skeleton, smash through the cobalt, hardened leather helmet, hell, why not? Even if it is just crappy leather, the door is locked. We kick it over and over and over and finally the door breaks down with a cobalt on the other side and another banana pill. And these little icons in the middle of the rooms are altars. This was an altar covered with strange markings. We spend some time and decipher them. It's dedicated to Nephis, the goddess of forbidden pleasures. You now know the sacred rituals that allow you to contact this deity via prayers. It's best if we don't bother the gods, by the way. Do not ask for their attention unless you can handle whatever they, they, they throw your way. And these are fountains, you can drink from them, shift D while you're standing on top of them. We get teleportation control from that. And, uh, we hit the jackal and it panics and runs away. Get back here, jackal, I want to eat you. A bronze axe, no. I'm waiting for, uh, the right weapon to come along before we pick it up. We slip on a banana pill. There's a copper axe plus one. No, just take that banana pill. A silver stone. Not sure what they're good for. Maybe trading. An iron mace. No, we'll leave that. Another iron mace. Lots of maces laying around. Now, I guess we'll loop back through here. You know, we've already lost Glutton, I think. There's a trail of blood through here. Now, we'll look around. There's an axe. There's blood on the floor. Blood this way. It's a trail of blood. Oh, maybe it was that jackal. We hit the jackal and slay it. And then we eat... No, we were going to eat the jackal corpse, but a carnivorous bunny charged ahead. So you know what? We're going to eat the jackal's corpse, and then we're going to eat the bunny's corpse. Nom, 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 nom. We began eating the corpse of the young female carnivorous mutant bunny. An uncomfortable uncertainty of who you really are suddenly overwhelms your senses. Now be careful what you eat. A hardened leather belt. Let's pick that up and put it on. It's an AV value of 1. Every little bit helps, right? Empty bottle, empty can. Empty bottles aren't nearly as valuable as empty cans. Um, empty bottles, um, yeah. You can use them, but they're fragile. A corpse of a young carnivorous bunny, we'll eat that here in a moment. We bash the other one in the head and it runs away. What's that? Hardened leather belt. An iron mace plus one, I don't want a mace. We smash these bunnies into the corners. Run away, you damn carnivorous thing. The door is locked. We'll kick it down. Finally, the door flies off the hinges and screams open. There you are, bunny. We give chase right into the carnivorous plant. What is that? The corpse of a jackal on the gravel floor. There is a huge pile of blood. We'll eat the jackal corpse. And a pile of items here. A scroll of teleportation. Nice. So now we have a scroll of teleportation and, for the time being, teleportation control. Which means if we needed to teleport, we could, uh, actually choose where on the map we wanted to go. A banana, we'll pick that up. A loaf of beef. And some leather armor, we'll leave that. Some delicious banana flesh. A whistle. Don't know any real uses for the whistle. I'm sure there's some. There's I'm sure there's one for it. A ruined leather whip, extremely accurate. Not a whole lot of damage, but I like the accurate part. We're gonna put that in our right hand. There we go. Continue anyways. It's somewhat difficult. Yes, we'll get better. 
I hope. Or we'll die. Kick the door down, it's locked. Can we kick it down? Our weak kick has no chance to affect it. Damn. Maybe we need to carry a little bit more weight or something. Um, yeah, y your limbs will gain strength, especially if you sprint a lot. I think if you carry a lot of weight, your, your limbs will slowly get stronger from the burden. You can also change your limbs into other materials. Chainmail. Let's pick that up. And it has an AV of 6, but look how much it weighs. I think we'll put it on and uh, drop the leather, drop the teak shield. We're still burdened, unfortunately. I guess we'll stay burdened. Start working on that leg strength, maybe. And we smash the bunny down, and then we eat its corpse. Hardened leather belt, don't need it. Ooh, nymph hair belt, pick that up. Another empty can. Balsa Spear, Corpse of a Cobalt, we'll leave that. The door resists us as we try to open it. Another leather belt. I've got enough belts, guys. I could use gloves or something. And a Wand of Lightning, great. Can't wait to kill myself. Um, we step on a bear trap and it almost rips our leg off. It uh, just heavily damaged it. I could rest. Yeah, there it goes, now it's coming back. You can completely lose your limbs in this, have your leg completely ripped off, your arm is completely ripped off. Whoa, a skeleton slashes us with a bronze axe minus three. Thankfully, its weapon wasn't very strong. We take a drink from the fountain and the water tastes good. Another banana pill. Carnivorous bunny sleeping on the, on the spider web there. Come back here, spider. I'm not going to fall for your trick. Do not get caught in the spider webs. I warn you now. If you get caught in the spider webs and tire yourself out, the spider will come up and make short work of you. And the stairwell down. Let's take it. Level 3. Some more canned food. A copper shield. We slash the mutant ass. And then we chase it. It kicks us in the chest pretty good. Looks like it took off running. Hello, snakey. Corpse of a snake. We step on an... We wait... Oh no! We stepped on a meteoric steel bear trap, and it traps our leg. Almost rips it off. A scroll of hardened material. Maybe I should harden my legs up. The jackal bursts through the door around the corner. And we slay it, and then feast on its corpse. So what do we got here? Oh gosh. The bronze bear trap traps our leg and completely rips it the fuck off. Your left leg is severed. Holy crap. Where's my leg at? The severed left leg of Colonel Crunch. We pick it up. Ooh, and there's two bronze gauntlets here. So that's a, a find. At least it wasn't boots. I wouldn't have needed two boots there. Um, right gauntlet. Put the bronze gauntlet on. Left gauntlet. Put that gauntlet on. There we go. <sighs> we try very hard to crawl forward, but our load is much too heavy. Um, let's pray to Cephas, the god of forbidden pleasures. Please, Nephus, please heal my leg. Do we really want to pray? Yes. Nephus gives you a new left leg made of magical mushroom. Wow, a stumpy mushroom leg. I guess that'll have to do. We try hard to crawl forward. So yeah, we're gonna have to drop something then. Where's my leg? Wand of lightning, silver stone. Um, what do I have that's too heavy then? Wow, look at the weight of my damn severed leg. So let's drop it. It's H-I. There we go. We're no longer overburdened by my fat worthless dead leg and a merchant here let's chat with him I was hired to clean out this tunnel but the going was too tough so I gave up and set, a sh set up a shop with what I'd found you're a smart man I have a feeling though I'm going to press forward though our weak mushroom kick has no chance to affect the door we do stomp down a, uh, a carnivorous bunny and then eat it an uncomfortable uncertainty overwhelms you. The giant mushroom hits us, we block it with the iron shield. The kobold stabs us with the balsa spear, it just deflects off. Hello, hedgehog, my nemesis. Eat his corpse. And there's the stairwell up. You know what? No. I don't I don't know if we should go up there just yet. And there's the mutant ass, it bites us, but we're not hurt. We slash it and it panics and runs away. 
So, you know what? Let's run all the way down this way. Come back here, you ass. You corner the ass. And there's a kobold that we slice down. He panics and runs away. Our, our whip skill is leveling up. Come here, we corner the ass. And he takes off running away again, braying and kicking. And finally, we slay him. He's laying there. I... Corpse of him. I don't know. Well, it says mutant in its name. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're going to eat it. An uncomfortable uncertainty overwhelms us. Okay, whoa. Our body glows in a crimson light, and we transform into a mistress war lady. Fueled by our thirst for for blood and combat, the kobold dies yelling. I think we chopped him into bits. His head flew off behind his body, and he dropped his helmet. Oh, man, our view got heavily expanded. So now we, yep, up to the next level. Come here, hyena. We're going to just kill as much as we can. Full bottle of poison. Rawr, I'm the war god. Two carnivorous bunnies. I'm going to eat both of the bunnies. Delicious. Healing liquid. Ah, uh, We return to our, our currently true form. Our true form is that of the warrior goddess. We just need to spill more blood and get it back. Another bottle of poison. The level after this one is the level that is extremely dangerous because you cannot rest. Whoa, what the fuck? The skeleton slashes us. Oh no, we transformed and then we transformed into a really a really weak beast and then ran into that skeleton that killed us. Your body glows in a crimson light and we transform into a blink dog. We suddenly feel sluggish. In our slow sluggish speed, the skeleton slashes us. We hear a yelp inside our head as Colonel Clunch the Blink Dog vanishes. Colonel Clunch the Blink Dog materializes from from nowhere, and then the skeleton slashes us again. We die. Damn, that was quick. Message history, no. Items, massacre history, nah, we didn't massacre too much. Unfortunately, you died during your journey. The High Priest is not happy, and he'll have to send out another adventurer. Yeah, I've been going through a whole lot. Colonel Crunch. Killed by the skeleton while polymorphed into a blink dog. <sighs> you know what that means? That means we're gonna have to start over. Okay, well now that that last character is um, dead and behind us, we'll start a new one here. We can skip all this, we've already went through it. Smaller island, different shape. Let's see, we'll pick up our lantern here. Let's go glut and let's see if, uh, how far we can actually make it this time. I may never actually make it out of these damn sewers, to be honest. And let's see, we'll kill that hedgehog and eat his body. I see you, spider. You chase me all you want. I don't think they can actually... Yeah, they can lay webs. Wham. He thought he had us trapped. Glutton, did you already get lost back here? Come on, you stupid mutt. You know what? If he does get lost, I, yeah, I don't care. I, I can't care, honestly. Because all he is going to do is get lost. Chase the kobold. He is dead. Not gonna eat his corpse. Leave his balsa wood spear. And another kobold. We missed. The zombie misses. And, or that was a yeah a zombie. Wow. We plowed through him. Oh, and this character's name is Colonel Crunch, not Colonel Clunch. I don't know where the hell that was coming from. A bottle full of water. Pick that up and take it with us. Can I drink it? Yes, I can. I don't know what it would do. Maybe we'll save it and combine it with something later on. I'll throw it on ourselves whenever we're coated in acid. Shit, yes, a scroll of golem creation. That will be extremely useful. What are these? Gravel floor and a bunch of giant mushrooms. And we're dead. A zombie hits us from behind. Don't need to see any of that. We died. 45 points. Start again. Fly through here. Back down to the caves. Ooh, and we start off with a kobold here. Me and our little puppy here, we smash him into the ground. Where's the lantern at? Is there no lantern? Okay. I guess I already picked it up out of reflex then. There we go. We'll zoom through here. A hardened leather cloak. Put that on our back. A little bit more AV. Now, there's another thing about Ivan that may or may not be true. I assume it is. And the puppy starts eating the zombie's arm. But, the better gear you get, the better gear you pick up an amulet of ESP. The, the better equipped you become, the harder the game gets for you. A scroll of detect material. Pick that up. Yeah. 
The game will adjust its difficulty to kick your ass if it starts also giving you good items and stuff like that. The game hates you. A copper helmet. Um, didn't want to eat that, but oh well. Put the uh, put the copper helmet on. Three AV. An iron halberd. You know what? That'll be our primary weapon then. Put that in our right hand. It's inaccurate but sturdy, but it has high damage. It's somewhat difficult to use even with two hands because we're a big old wussy. We kick open the door and we smash the zombie down. Leather helmet plus one. Quit resisting my advances, door. Open yourself. And a hedgehog. He is dead. We nom on his corpse. Come here, spider. You can dance around your webs all day. He backs out the door, laughing. We'll s take a sip out of the fountain. Holy crap, and spiders appear. A bunch of them. Um, cannot let them get away too much. They'll find themselves in the hallways, putting threads or silk everywhere. Yeah, they bit me and poisoned me. The poison is eating holes in my flesh as we speak. <sighs> uh, our torso bleeds very heavily as our lung begins to deflate. We're too scared to attack the giant spider, and the spider bites us and we die. So that character's dead. Son of a bitch. Uh, new character. Let's see dive down into the caves and we push glutton out of the way and the corpse of a carnivorous plant and there's a lantern we kick open the door a copper pickaxe we'll pick up the copper short sword put that in our right hand and run off naked down the hallways we smash through the, the hedgehog where'd that kobold go glutton chased the kobold back into the corner and chewed him into pieces you just stay there, Glutton. Ooh, wow, that's a big chest. Uh, I'm a large chest with a square lock. It's locked. Let's kick it. We kick it down the hallway. Did, it, did anything happen? It seems to be locked. Nope, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Okay. Um, how about pick it up? Nope, too damn heavy. Wow, it's got something real good in there, I'm sure. But I can't kick it against a wall because it's in the middle of the hallway, unfortunately. So, kill the mushroom, kill the zombie, and a whistle. We'll pick that up. Pick up another bottle of water. Ooh, and a loaf of bread. Take that and stuff that in our pockets. Slip out the back door here. Come here, spider. The spider changes place with a hedgehog. And we nom on the hedgehog's corpse. Ooh, a fountain. We take a sip, and what the fuck? We're surrounded by six large rats that crawl out of the fountain. We spit the water out of our mouth. Who knows what was in that? Rat feces. Oh, apparently the rats are all my friends. Holy crap. That's awesome. I was wondering why I couldn't attack them. A full copper helmet. We'll take that and put that on. See, so yeah, I drink out of fountains all as much as you can. What are you doing, rats? Let's go. Are you done feasting over here? Orders. Um... Let's see. Can I give orders to any of them? I'm just like, no. Follow me or not, then I'm the Pied Piper here of rats. Rip ourselves through these webs. A scroll of repair. And the stairs down we're not going to take yet. I do want a little bit more gear. Quit resisting me. A bone helmet. Has an AV of two. It doesn't weigh very much. Maybe we can sell it for something. Wham! kill the carnivorous plant and steal its kiwi. Some chunky banana on the floor. A bottle full of stale water. We'll take it. Are all my rat friends with me? Let's go. I've got two here. I guess that'll have to do. Come on, buddies. Let's go. Alright. Surround the zombie. Bite his face off. Another kiwi for us. Sweet. Zombies all over this place. We need a whole bunch of gear, damn it. Give me some chest pieces. Or some boots or something. Just dodge around the web there. I see you, spider. They're always just out of distance, waiting. Hardened material. We step on an active bear trap, and our right leg begins bleeding very badly. The spider comes over and tries to take advantage of the situation, but we drive our sword through his thorax. And he dies. Our leg is healing nicely. It's got some beautiful scars on it. This is a long-ass tunnel. 
A bottle full of almond sweat. Now, there's something special about almonds, but I don't know what. I just know that everything almond that you find, you should keep. A little side room to rest in. Ooh, a triangular key. I think that chest had a rounded key. Actually, you know what? That big chest might have even been on the last character. I don't know anymore. A bottle full of healing liquid will pick that up. Go through so many characters here. A meteoric steel helmet. I'm um, an AV of 8. Wow. Pick that up. Let's drop the full copper helmet because it weighs so much. Let's eat some of this food too. We're going to eat the kiwis. We're going to eat the loaf of bread. We're going to eat the lumps of banana flesh. And some leather armor. I'm not going to wait until I'm starving to death before I eat anymore. I learned my lessons the hard way a long time ago. So let's see, we got two two mops here, two paint brushes. We, we stepped on it earlier, and we managed to decipher the runes. It's dedicated to Lor Caddis, the god of fire, machines, and weaponry. You now know the sacred rituals that allow you to contact this deity via prayers. And we're going to take a drink. The waste, or the water tastes normal, but there is an odd aftertaste. We rise into the air like a balloon and begin floating through the cavern. Sweet. Now, I could, um, I think Mean Melter taught me this, or told me this in the comments a long time ago, but once you get levitate, if it's, um, say like you eat a mushroom and begin levitating, you can actually go up to the top of the surface and fly over the water to your destination. If you want to bypass all of these hellish tunnels, which I don't, um, because I happen to like going through them, trying to get loot for the next leg of the adventure that is even more difficult than this. See, we kick open the door, kick open this door, and the carnivorous plant's waiting on the other side. We uproot it, and uh, just continue running on our little our little sprint here. Nothing too hard on this level. There's the stairs down. Come here, jackal. We slaughter the jackal and feast on his corpse. I think this is... Well, there's that whole room there. Right here. If I could blow through the wall, we could get in there without going all the way around. Hello, carnivorous plant. You don't have no kiwis for me, damn it. Ooh. A round locked chest. We kick it. It smashes against the wall and the, the lock shatters. There's an iron spear and a carrot in there. We'll take the carrot and eat it. It's good for our eyesight. In fact, I think it actually did expand our vision a little bit. Um, a book to the fire god that we already know to pray to. An iron spear is laying there. A fur shield. Lightweight, but doesn't provide too much protection. Hello, spider. I'm going to kill you. I'm in your web. Come get me. Haha, -ha, you're dead now. Just run through all of it. Man, he laid a whole bunch of web. A death tunnel. Capture anything that comes through. A meteoric steel mace. Wow. An almond bone chainmail plus two? Well, holy crap. What does that offer? An AV of 17? I've never seen chainmail that good this early on. We are so gonna die. We s cut down that plant. I can barely even see my character now. Let's take a closer look at us. There we are. Um, this is another awesome roguelike feature that this game has as well. As you put equipment on, you'll actually see it on your character. All right, as much as I know, know, say, roguelikes don't depend on graphics, it's little shit like that that is extremely awesome. Um, so yeah, we'll just continue going down this way. Two bronze boots minus one. Not gonna pick them up. We pick up the scroll of repair and a pile of items. Bronze chainmail. Forget it. It's a junkie. Okay, this whole tunnel is just filled with loot. That is creepy. A can of banana flesh. An amal hair cloak. Amal hair cloak. AV of three. Let's put that on. Copper short sword. You know, maybe if I get a full suit of amal stuff, I'll spl I'll drink the amal sweat. The lock breaks from the force of our kick. And we open it. We cut the plant down. And we steal its its seeds, its ripe loin seeds of kiwi fruit. A bear trap. Uh, another thing with traps, you can kick them. If they're armed, and that'll disarm them. The ancient altar is covered with markings. We decipher it. It's dedicated to Melis, the god of money, trade, and politics. Maybe I'll say a prayer to Melis in a, in a shop or something. See if we can get better deals corpse of a zombie is rotting there. Flies have already found it. A loaf of beef. Let's pick it up, eat the kiwi, eat the loaf of beef. I'm not overfed yet. You can't eat until you vomit. 
uh, if you feel like doing so. It may have advantages, it may not. Cut down that plant. Oh, just one lone plant isn't too much of a threat. A troll, troll hide belt. But getting surrounded by the plants is another story entirely. Nice little suit we've got coming along here. A leather helmet and an altar dedicated to Silva, the goddess of nature. We now know the sacred rituals that allow us to contact this deity via prayers. And a book to Sophos laying around. We'll take that. Poison vial. Sulfuric acid. I'm not picking that up. Troll hide belt. Yeah. There may be uses for poison and sulfuric acid. I, I urge you to pick them up and try to figure them out yourself. I always end up hurting myself with them. So no, I will not be run all the way down this way. Now we're ready for the next layer. For the next uh, level, I guess. I've done a clean sweep through this one. Have we missed anything? Yes, we have. This little tunnel here. Let's see. One lone room. What could possibly be in it? We kick the door open. And there's an altar here. We decipher the runes and it's dedicated to Infuser, the goddess of wrong knowledge and vile magic. We now know how to pray to Infuser. And there's a wand of lightning on it. Nice. AC, DC, rock on. Power God. Wand of lightning. Yep. I don't know how I feel about wands of lightning, to be honest. Um, both good and bad. Hello, rat friend. We still have one left, apparently. You can follow me down to the water level. Damn, there's the stairs. I'm also not strong enough to punch holes in the wall. Which I think you can be. Especially if, say, you get dynamite or something. You can blow your way through places. So the rat can fly or swim or something. Troll hide stuff. Come here, bunny. I want to feast on you. There's the stairs up. And a mutant ass. I'm still levitating. Wow, I wonder how long I can fly. That's useful. We cut down the skeleton. I didn't realize that levitation was still in effect. And here's the shop again. There's a kobold in here. There's a bunny. Oh, man. I'm just fly through here. Ooh, what is this? A wand of door creation. That could be useful if we want to sneak in through somewhere. If there's one little piece of wall in our way, we can create a door there. We kill the ass and chop him into bits. And he collapses into a pile. A delicious carrot. Pick that up and chew on it. Now, I eat that food um, quickly because it will spoil and then it will poison you and be no good. Um, stuff that's in cans will not go bad. Lock. We'll kick the lock. The lock breaks free, finally. And there's a mushroom. Two mushrooms. Wow. And a fountain. Let's drink from it. We drink in it, and our body glows. We transform into a skeleton warrior. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Looks like it gave us some... Well, I don't know what my stats were before, but we're all 20s and 18s now. Can't be too bad. We slash the bunny, and we don't need to eat as a skeleton, so... I guess that's good. Get out of my way, you damn plant. Ah, we try to slash the carnivorous plant to pieces. And succeed. So, on to this level. What is this? There's a, a nymph hair belt we pick up and stash in our backpack. Broken steel shield, plus two, and troll hide cloak. Uh, rubble. Sandstone. Something blew up here, perhaps. There's balsa wood sticks. A severed left, left leg of a gibberling. There's the gibberling that was missing its leg. We finished the job. Several items through here. I see you, bunny. I'm chasing your blood trail. A small chest with a round lock. Um... There's nothing in it. Well, screw you too, chest. Corpse of a young bunny. Are we ever going to change back out of the skeleton form? I guess I won't be too upset if we stay this way. Can I still equip stuff? Yeah, I can still equip things. Normally, polymorphine doesn't last this long. Why can't I transform into, like, the goddess of war and stay, uh, stay that way for, for so long? We cut through the hedgehog. You know what? I don't know why I would even complain a little bit. Oh shit, there's a ghost! 
It's the ghost of Plump Helmet Rogue, one of my old past adventurer characters. Um, we stab the ghost. The ghost misses us. We stab it. It misses. Um, I'm just going to slash myself on it. Ooh, we slash the ghost. The rogue is sucked back to the pits of hell. Well, screw you, Plump Helmet Ghost. I think this was all his gear whenever he died. No. I don't think I ever had that much stuff on any of my characters. Rings of Searching, Rings of Polymorph, Gauntlets of Strength, we'll take a bolt of those. Boots of Strength, we'll take that. Boots of Strength plus two. The corpse of Plump Helmet Rogue the Human. There he lays. Four empty cans, a ring of fire resistance, an ebony shield. What what do I need? Hang on. Let's equip some of this stuff. Put the gauntlet on. Uh, put the other gauntlet on. We're going to be one badass skeleton warrior here. Boot of strength, we'll put that on. Boot of strength plus two, put that on. Getting our strength bumped all the way up. Not bad, then. Um, rings, what should we have? Two rings of searching. I don't know if that would do any good. Polymorph control. I'll put that on. You feel your mind has total control over your body. Can I have my old body back? Can I choose to transform into something else? No, we're going to put a ring of searching on. In, our, in my left hand, what should I wield? Nothing yet. I don't have any amulets either. So let's see. Arcanite helmet I don't need because I've got the Amal helmet. Bronze plate metal I don't need. Don't need any of that. Healing healing bottle, full of poison, the scroll of charging, detect material, teleportation, taming, holy book of Legifer, holy book of Adivis, a wand of door creation, a lantern, oh, a stethoscope, and an oil lamp. Now, I don't know about you, but that does not look like an oil lamp to me. That looks like a genie lamp. We'll pick that up. A sapphire stone. Yep. So as you run through the game, through this, through these dungeons and die, occasionally you'll bump into your old body. You'll have to kill your ghost and then you can loot yourself and uh, get back all of your crap. So it's not a total loss to just run to your doom repeatedly over and over. It's bound to pay off eventually, I guess. Like it did in this case. Even though I'm still a skeleton. Doesn't matter, I don't have to eat. Um... Colonel Crunch, a neutral skeleton warrior. If I stay a skeleton too much longer, I, I will pray, though. See if we can get changed back or changed into something else. We slash the bat. It's slain. We don't even worry about feasting on its corpse. Can I dual wield the copper sword? Got a copper short sword covered with blood in that hand. Damage 1 through 4, highly accurate. And in our right hand, we're going to put this other copper sword. So now we're a dual-wielding skeleton warrior in Amal armor. The puppy bites us, we block it, and then we cut him down. Ten helmet plus one. Not very sturdy. Wow. Trails of blood. Glowing blood is all over the floor here. What is that? Is that a body? Glowing blood, no. More glowing blood back here. We just rip through the kobold, chomp him in half. And we return to our true form, finally. Wow, our stats do suck. I want to be the skeleton warrior again. We slash the gibberling to bits. So let's see, we have poly control, searching, levitated, satiated, and we're burdened. I don't really think I can drop anything. I could probably drop some of those books, but I'm not going to. I could probably read them, too. Um, a small chest with a square lock. What type of key do we have again? Triangular key? So we kick the lock open. The lock shatters. And inside the chest is nothing. It's a good thing I didn't waste a key on it. I'd probably have been mad. Hey, you know what? We're still levitating too. That's good news. Run away, you damn mutant ass. I'll feast on your body if I ever find you. The door is locked. We kick it open. And we kick open the back door. And slip out the side here. Whoa. We find an active bear trap. Yep, it has a little exclamation mark on it. You can see it there if you press L to look at it. We hover over it. We kick it into the wall and it snaps shut. I don't suggest kick... Well, actually, you know what? You can kick landmines. They don't blow up as soon as you kick them. They do slide and then blow up, I think. You know what? If I find one, I'll, I'll kick it and find out. 
we cut that cobalt down and we find a deity to Valparis, the king of gods, who we pray to. And a wand of acid rain. We cut down that spider. We slice that gibberlin into bits. You can see his legs flew off behind him. Come back here, ass. I want to feast on you. The mutant ass neighs one last time and dies. And we eat it. We feel uncomfortable with who we really are. And doubt begins to overwhelm us. A holy book of Valparis. Um, holy books are decent because you can uh, save them. What do you want to become? War lady. Um, let's see. We can pre press a question mark for list. Because we have polymorph control and we're getting ready to polymorph, not of our own accord, but I guess because we ate, we can choose who we want to become. Um, human gibberling, no. Large hedgehog, I don't want to be a lion. Could be a priestess of Sylvan, no. Rookie guard, skeleton, skeleton warrior, a sumo wrestler? A levitating ostrich, no. I don't want to become any of those. I want to become a war lady. What a strange wish. I know. All of these other things here suck. Giant spider, no, that's easy to kill. Um, maybe a giant spider is not easier to kill. A rookie guard, a skeleton. I think we might actually become a skeleton warrior then. Let's see. L. Yeah, because that... List of known creatures and... Oh, okay. So this number in the brackets is the intelligence you have to have over here to be able to choose them, to choose, uh, to morph into them. Looks like Skeleton Warrior is one of the best ones. I'm going to go to that list once more. A banana grower takes 11. But we are a banana grower, and we suck. I don't want to be a banana grower anymore. Yeah, we're going to be a skeletal warrior. There we go. We morph into it. Crimson Light transforms us. And we are our badass self again. So let's see. Let's search for those stairs. Where are we going? Go through here. There's a dagger. Aw, and we go back to our true form already. A corpse of a puppy. We feast on it. Get that blood flowing through our system again. A wand of fireballs. That'll be useful to blow myself up with. A wand of slow. And a rotten, stinky log here. A loaf of beef. I'm not going to pick it up and eat it. Skeleton. Ooh, a whip of thievery. Um, I'm going to pick that up. Pretty useful. Um, well, not useful, I guess. But I do like that it, if you attack with a whip of thievery, it will... Occasionally steal stuff, go figure, right? So what do we want to become? I guess we'll turn into the Skeleton Warrior again. There we go. See how long this lasts. There is the stairs. We kick open the door. A wand of invisibility there. It's nice. Nothing through there. Quit. How, how often am I going to polymorph here? It's not actually doing me any good. Here we are. Go up the stairs then, level 3. This level seems to be somehow alive. You feel you want to leave it as soon as possible. And we will. We can't spend too much time on this level. We cut through the zombie and chop him to bits. An iron short sword, a bear trap here. We just want to find one certain room on this level and get the hell out. A leather cloak of acid resistance. I currently have an Amal hair cloak on, so I'm going to keep it. And a jackal that we cut down, cut into pieces. An iron dagger, a wand of striking. A ring of fire resistance. Might be worth trading. We'll pick it up and carry it along. And back to our normal self. Yep, a bunch of plants just sprang up around us. They found us. It sensed our presence here. The beast has. Boom, we morph into a skeleton warrior. Back and forth we go. We step on the bronze bear trap, and it um, traps our leg. We hurt our leg even more. We finally rip free. It didn't crush our bones too bad, our bony leg. Hello, spider. Yeah, you can try to bite me. A wand of slow, we pick it up. Copper spear, no. That's a long hallway. Another wand of striking. I've got more wands than I'm ever going to be able to use. Give me a good wand. Another wand of lightning. I don't like wands of lightning because lightning bounces off of things and right back at you. And hello, kobold. We chop him to pieces and he dies screaming like a tortured hyena. Another genie lamp. Let's see, and in this room is an altar. We've managed to decipher the runes, and it's dedicated to Sages, the goddess of health and nutrition. 
and we're back to our boring self. A loaf of bread, let's pick that up. We're gonna eat both of these loaves of bread. We're bloated, I don't care. A carrot, eat the carrot too. Um, is somebody fighting us? Oh, we really have a hard time getting it down our throat. I guess we'll pick up all this food. Not very nutritious to eat until you're bloated. We won't create commit sacrilege like that in the shrine, anyways. Um, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna do something here. Hello, the plants are springing up all around us. I think this this wall here. I think that that's the room we need to go to. So we're gonna step all the way back here, and we're gonna use a wand. A wand of fireballs. That's Z to pull up the zapping, and then E to zap with that wand. And we should choose the direction of the fireball flies and rips through the wall. <laughs> we're hit by the backdraft explosion. And no, that's not the room I was hoping it would be. There's another shrine there, a couple magic mushrooms. Oh well, shortcut to get where, uh, to get on the other side here then. I'm actually going to pick up a lantern. I don't know if they burn out or not, but I don't want to risk it. We chop that cobalt down as well. A holy book of scabies. The goddess of people with poor hygiene. For one reason or another. So there's, this is the beast we need to be careful with. Genatrix Vesana. The mother carnivorous plant bites us. We're not hurt. Thankfully, she could have easily killed me in one hit. Um, I don't have a wand of teleportation. If I had a wand of teleportation, I could zap her with it, and uh, she would be gone. We could use the stairs that she's guarding, that she's on top of, and climb out. Um, scroll, encrypted scroll. And if I still had that scroll of golem creation, I could create like a bronze golem or something from one of my items, but I don't. Uh, a scroll of teleportation is not the same as a wand, unfortunately. Um, so let's see, let's step back. We're going to use that wand of fireballs again. We're going to blast down the hallway there. The door is broken. It kills some of her little minions. I'm going to stand back and do it again. Fireballs that way. Blam! Another explosion. Whoa, and we're surrounded by her minions. Springing up from the seedy underworld. There we go. Kill all of them. And I know she's down there, even though I can't see her. I don't want to use lightning. I'm going to use fireball again. Oh, shit, no! Oh, well. We got caught in that damn explosion because it was too close. The greater carnivorous plants hit by the explosion. And it wasn't the explosion that killed us. It was the fact that I had too much loot on me. That explosion snapped the lightning rod in my pocket. And all of the lightning stored in that, that wand just ran through my body all at once and killed me. So, at that plant, bam, we're dead. Um, don't care to see any of that massacre history? Nah, not important. Unfortunately, we died during the journey. Made it up to fourth rank. Well, you know what that means. It's time to start a new character. Okay, well, this is going to have to be the last character. Um, I'm running out of um, the length of video that I kind of want to record and upload. This is almost reaching an hour that I'm going to have to cut down and edit. So this is going to be the last character, probably. Um, not that I'm going to be shelving Ivan for nearly as long as I did last time. We'll pick up the lantern here. But, uh, yeah. I think the video is long enough. Um, so let's see. Cloak. A troll hide cloak. We'll put that on for two. Two armor. Let's go, Glutton. There's a damn kiwi plant out here. We cut it down, steal its fruit. And a wand of striking. And a loaf of bread. Sweet. A broken belt of carrying. Every little bit helps to... Uh, we can carry here without going burdened and slowing ourselves down a bronze short sword two through four damage highly accurate and rather sturdy yes a torn tw uh, torn nymph area an av value of one it's pretty much worthless it's like wearing cheesecloth uh, maybe we'll sell it we chop down that plant and a scroll of taming I think with taming, you can read it and tame a monster, perhaps. You know what? An oak quarter staff plus two. It's accurate, rather sturdy, has damage of three through seven. I kind of like quarter staffs. We're going to pick that up and use it. And, yeah, bust into this room here. It's empty. 
A one-legged zombie comes charging after us. Wow, it stabs us with a copper spear, plus one. It tries to run away, but we whack its head off. Broken omel hair belt. Um, let's see. I guess the belt of carrying we've got already has an avia too. Just hold on to it. Another one-legged zombie that we bust through. We level up with our skill down there. Skill level two with the oak quarterstaff. Slowly getting better with it. Two boots. What's all this broken gear, gear doing? We cut down that kobold. And he has a steel chainmail on. AV of seven. That'll replace the nymph stuff. There we go. A little bit better. Maybe my chest won't get such... Get damaged so easily now. It's still freaking red up there. I should probably rest whenever your limbs get that damaged. You should probably um, press H to rest. <clears throat> that way you don't take successive hits there. Well. It's taken forever. There we go. But this is not hit points per se. Um, you can still have full hit points, I think, and have your chest in the red or in the black with the, the dashed lines. And that is not, not good. Because even one little nick will send you over the edge. Ooh, and a backpack of gunpowder. Yeah, we'll just hang on to that. That's a great thing to have in your possession. Especially uh, whenever you're running around doing stupid stuff. So let's see, a bunch of mushrooms. Chop all them down. And a hedgehog. That's going to be dinner. We're not going to eat the mushrooms, because, well, you know, yeah, let's eat one. And that gives us ESP, a scroll of enchant armor. Let's read that scroll. Let's see. You could never hope, oh, well, no, I don't want to read the encrypted scroll. Scroll of enchant armor, there we go. What do we want to enchant? Um, let's enchant the body armor there. The troll, god damn it. Well, I guess we're going to... Enchant the troll hide cloak. It glo it glows briefly. I'm like pressing the wrong keys all night. I'm like drunk or something. A wand of haste is laying here. We'll pick that up. Leather whip of plus one. Don't need it. Cute quarterstaff. I think it said it was two-handed, right? Right hand wielded. Yep. In both hands, it says. And a delicious large hedgehog corpse. And... Another hedgehog for dessert. Whoa, and not the large spider. There we go. Actually, that hedgehog might have saved my life by distracting me from eating that large spider corpse. A bottle full of healing liquid. And a carrot. Let's eat the carrot. We eat it, and it didn't help my vision at all. So maybe I was bullshitting in the last video. We are filled with the desire to just be ourselves from now on. Something moved back there. What is that? A spider death trap room? Yeah, I don't think so. Hello, spider. And a kiwi. Let's uh, eat both the kiwis before they go bad, and eat both the loaves of bread. Let's see, what will we drop? Drop the nymph armor there. The, no, I'll keep the, the almond hair belt. We just need to get stronger. There's the stairs down as we struggle to free ourselves from the webbing. It wears you out a little bit. But it might also help you level up, get more agile and strong as you have to work and fight your way through it. Hello, chest. It's locked. Kick it down the hallway. Kick it a few times. Kick it until everything inside breaks. Um, yeah, now kick it into the wall. It's got a broken lock. An iron dagger. Extremely accurate. Nope, don't need it. Don't need any more weapons unless they're absolutely amazing. We eat that hedgehog. A small, strong box with a round lock. I have never seen one of these. We kick it. Um, it's locked. Kick it again, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Has no effect on it. Okay, well, how much does it weigh, actually? Let's see. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Apparently it doesn't weigh too much. 2,000 grams. Guess we'll keep it. Maybe we'll find a lock. We need a round key. Mm, probably never going to find one. What do we got in here? 
a wand of striking. You can slap something from a distance with this wand. I don't think it does too much damage. Might be able to use it to uh, set off traps. Let's see, kick the bear trap. It wasn't activated. You can, I could pick it up and use it. You know what, let's do that. Maybe if we're getting chased, I'll, I'll place the trap. And it can slow down whatever is after us. Whatever horrible monstrosity. We strike the young female carnivorous mutant bunny. It dies. And then we eat it. And it was delicious. So saith Plump. We'll open the door there and there's a tree. Let's see. The ancient altar dedicated to Silva, the goddess of nature. We can now pray to her for um, any reason whatsoever. I think I'll wait till, till we're injured or something. Come back, little rabbit. I just want to pet you. And the rabbit brought friends. It brought extra meals. We eat that one. And, um... We'll just follow this blood trail here. There you are. We swing and a miss. Chop that one down. And we eat it. Continue eating. The mutant ass is getting ready to charge it. Or the mutant bunny. And we finish eating as the bunny just watches from a distance. We chop. I think we killed two of them there. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to see. Um, with the resolution this is. Yeah, we'll eat both of those. Leave the mushroom. Pick up that can. Um, should we pray to Silva? No, not yet. I was thinking about it. I kind of just want to tempt fate. And see if she'll do anything for us. Hello, zombie. The zombie hits us. We block the attack. It hits us again, but we're not hurt. And we strike it down. Bronze pickaxe. And leave that be. You know, it's possible she could impart valuable knowledge onto us like where on the map we should go and stuff like that um, hardened leather belt no no actually I don't have a belt yeah I do broken belt of carrying that piece of crap and he drops some good stuff a full bronze helmet minus one never mind for the weight it's not that good quit running away bunny we finally catch up to it and beat it down and a scroll of taming. If we run into any more bunnies, yeah, let's try to tame it. We read the scroll. Continue reading, distracted by the bunny. Listen to me, bunny. The young female bunny bites us in the head. We're not hurt. We finish reading it. The bunny looks much friendlier. Come on, little bunny. Let's run through the caverns together. You're my friend now. I won't eat you unless I absolutely have to. I will eat your old friend here, though. Um, a wand of invisibility might be useful. I don't think it lets me be a, a super sneaky thief, unfortunately. Pretty sure that uh, all the important stuff that can be stolen, everyone around you can still see you. Where are you going, bunny? And we turn into a blink dog. That damn curse again. Last time we turned into a blink dog, we died. Nine hit points is all we've got. Come on, bunny. Bunny and dog running through the... Running through the underground caverns. We turned back into ourselves, and then we instantly turned into a hedgehog. And we're overloaded. Um, yeah. Because hedgehogs are not nearly as badass when you are the hedgehog. Pick up that empty bottle. Continue running down this hallway. Apparently I've cursed myself with something. Skeleton bashes us. We kill the skeleton again. And... I devour the jackal. So what did you have, skeleton? Leather, leather, nymph hair, some axes I don't care about. Oh no! Are you dead, bunny? The corpse of my old bunny friend. All we can do is eat her and remember her sacrifice. We turn into a... a what did we turn into? An obsidian golem. Holy crap. If only we could stay an obsidian golem. If only I could run into the demon, or that stupid plant queen, in this form. Or, um, Petraeus, if I could run into him. That'd be great, too. Two broken bronze gauntlets. I don't want all your broken gear. Give me some non-broken shit. Can I kick through this wall? The balsa wood shatters. Yes! Man, I want to be an obsidian golem all the time. I need more intelligence. And polymorph control. I mean, there's so many variables 
that can go into effect, like doors exploding when you kick them too much, a bronze bear trap, and a shrine to Croutons, the god of war and blood. So now we can pray to him in time of need. Probably whenever we're fighting the plant. A wand of polymorph. Sweet. Now a ring of polymorph control would be very welcome. There's the stairs down. Nope, not going to him yet. One last room here, apparently, and it's a dead end, so yeah. At least we got to fight through some of that. And we turn into a sulfur golem, who looks even more badass, I think, stat-wise. Come on, can I kick holes in this wall? No effect on the sandstone earth. So no, sulfur's not nearly as good as sandstone, apparently. We open the door. Uh, yeah, kill all of the creatures here. We, the giant magpie pecks us, we're not hurt. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna kill this shopkeeper. I have to do it, guys. I have to kill the shopkeeper. Because, uh, that, because I want all of his stuff. So, um, yeah, this might cause a hostile reaction, are you sure? Yes. The shopkeeper stabs us with the iron dagger, we're not hurt. We hit him. Advance to skill level 5, but then we miss him. Um, this could be a good fight. And we killed him, I think. We punched him. He dies screaming, and the shop is ours. Hell yes. Ah, you feel several items laying here, so what do we need? As a, I don't think we actually need anything as this golem. We'll take the banana flesh, uh, leave the poison bottle, take the water, take the water. Yeah. Take the antidote. I don't know if I need that much water. Take the pineapple, yeah. Crushed banana chunks, yes. Can of banana, yes. Loaf of bread, yes. More banana in a can, yes. Don't need the banana pill. Let's see. He had hardened leather armor that I don't need. There is his corpse, Bob the shopkeeper. A holy book of malice. Where was your god, huh, Bob? Maybe you should have finished reading your book. A broken bottle. Another banana pill. Even golems slip on banana pills. Hardened leather, no. Bronze axe. Copper axe. And a bear trap goes off on our foot. That's fine. We're a golem. We can shake it off. Corpse of a zombie in a leather helmet. Iron spear. Nope. And we turn back into our, our boring old self here. But at least we're victorious. Was there any gauntlets and stuff? I don't think there was. He had some, though. I'll take the, his two crappy leather gauntlets and his broken leather boots. They're broken because we stomped on them and crushed them into bits. Oh, maybe they're not broken. I just got excited and thought they were. Um, gauntlets, yeah. We will put... No, I don't want to actually wield it. Where's my gauntlets? There we are. Put that one on, and there we go. I still need rings... I still need a helmet for my head. I'm not gonna... Well, shit, yeah. Might as well grab the hardened leather helmet here. There we go. Don't be slacking off whenever there's free loot to be had. Just pick it up and put it on. Iron chainmail. Is that any better than what we've got? We've got steel chainmail. Iron is a seven. No. We'll drop the iron then. Because we're stressed. Way past burdened. That will actively tire you out probably kill you. What is that? Is that a round lock? The square key. We'll eat the jackal. What is that? Uh, that safe, safe box. That strong box with a round lock. Yeah, not even close to what we need. Maybe there's a lock pick somewhere we can take. Hello, snake. Run if you want. Just lead me to the stairs and to spider. And spider poisoned us. I'm not going to drink that potion yet, that antidote that we picked up in the shop. Our left arm bleeds very badly, and my head is bleeding very badly. Okay, now I will drink the antidote. Antidote full, uh, a bottle full of antidote. We drink it, <sighs> we feel much better. And let's drink a healing liquid, why not? And that heals us right back up. Stupid spider. Poison is a vicious thing. Um, somehow we don't manage to walk straight. <sighs> don't tell me we have brain damage from that poison. Long-term brain damage. We go up the stairs. Here we are. Hello, bat. What a f badass bat. It bites us in the arm. We're not hurt. 
finally strike it down and chew on it. This continue. I just want to find the stairs here. A copper helmet plus three. It's a little bit. That's a lot better actually. AV of six. Yes. Let's drop that. And you know what? I'm gonna drop that leather whip. Try to free up some weight here. I want to lose this burdened curse that I've got. Lantern, no. I'm gonna drop the bear trap. I'm keeping the backpack full of gunpowder because we're gonna use that to blow the, the plant queen up. I'm gonna throw it at her and then zap it with a wand. We kick the door open. There's a bat on the other side. We kill and eat and we find the altar dedicated to Mortifer, the destroyer of worlds. Um, yeah, we'll probably never ever pray to him because he's a creepy motherfucker. And he'll more than likely just kill me for even knowing about him now. Not a good situation to be in. A bone helmet, balsa wood spear I don't need. Yeah, we need to be on our toes now. Actually, you know what? Mortifer doesn't care about us. We step on an active iron bear trap, and it traps our left leg. He's got more important thing than to worry about mortals. There we go. A broken steel helmet, no. And a pile of loot. An empty can. Now, what is the command to actually... See, I'm going to have to maybe pause the video. I need to find out how to put those healing liquids in the cans so that my bottles don't break. Especially whenever an explosion goes off, it will break all of the glass in your possession. So all of the healing liquids would, uh... Yeah, break. Yeah, there's a landmine there. You know what, let's take it. I'm just glad it wasn't armed. Hello, puppy. I'm gonna eat you, too. We're satiated. I wanna be bloated, dammit. I'm not happy unless I'm bloated. What do we got here? Hello, kobold. Cobalt Chieftain, where's your headdress at? And another bat. Apparently I have problems fighting things that are high up. And it bites me in the head. It bites me in the leg. It's just freaking all over the place. Get away from me. You rabies infested fiend. I'm gonna eat your rabies body. What was here? Two steel gauntlets. Um, yeah. Let's pick those up. And a scroll of golem creation. Yes. Um, let's read that scroll and get a golem friend right now. And what should we, um, create this golem from? Copper, troll hide, a steel, a steel golem, that would be amazing. I'm gonna actually turn my chest piece, my steel chain. I have to do this. It must be done. H, make sure I press the right key this time. It's not hard. Right there, H. Let's line it up. Double, triple, quadruple check. H. There we go. Um, so we read it. We cast a spell and the steel chainmail covered with blood is sucked into the rainbow-colored magical vortex. Suddenly a steel golem materializes. Suddenly the inner structure of the multiverse around you looks quite simple. Golem pal, I think me and you are going to have a beautiful relationship. Two steel boots of plus one. Let's replace uh, our crappy gear then. That's an AV of ten. That's amazing. I wonder if that'll allow me to kick through walls. And you know what? We got steel gauntlets too, so let's put those on. We're burdened. Um, drop the leather gauntlets there. Drop the leather boots. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I do need to eat some food. Is anything going bad? The loaf of pork. It was slightly spoiled. Lumps of banana. Eat it all. We have a hard time getting it down. Continue to eat it. Force yourself to eat the banana chunks. You can do it. You're a pro. So, yep, now we're going to be pretty badass. Don't drink out of the fountain, because uh, if it teleports me somewhere, I'll lose my golem. The world seems boring again. Where'd you go, golem, buddy? You went to kick ass somewhere. I don't see a blood trail anywhere. You fiend. Hello, puppy. Or was it... Yeah, puppy. It's my next meal, actually. Come here. I want to eat you till I'm sick. I'm following your blood trail. Bronze axe. Nothing. There you are. Caught him hiding around the corner. We feast on him there. Continue eating? Yes. You have a really hard time getting all this down. That's fine. Um, man, 
man. Did my golem run away? I think it did. I'm gonna be really upset if I've already lost my steel golem. That was like my, my saving grace to get through the next level. What do we got here? A young carnivorous bunny. Continue eating? Yes. Maybe we'll turn into a sumo wrestler or something. A round key. You know what that means. What do you wish to open? Check my inventory. Open that strong box. Um, okay, let's drop it and then use the key on it somehow. Let's see. Open that. Can I use? No. U is for running. I do have a round key now. Round lock. Round key. Open. Okay, this is going to have to be a mystery I'm going to have to solve, maybe if I pause the video. If we make it to the town or something. The town of Atnam. Plan on taking a break there, because that's quite a long journey. And then I'll find out how to move healing stuff into uh, bottles, into cans, out of the glass. Gosh damn it, Golem. You're going to have me running all over this whole level multiple times, aren't you? A mutant ass corpse. You know, those summon, whenever you summon the creature, it does last forever. Wish to open, no, where's my orders menu? There isn't an altar here. Crap. Well, maybe my golem deserted me. That's, that's depressing. What do we got here? There's blood. Blood on the floor. Can't tell what type, though. Oh, well, we'll go to the south tunnel here. And we'll just remember the golem that was... For a brief time, one of our allies. We run headfirst into a mushroom cloud. And we squash the mushroom, but hey, we're invisible, we're levitating. Things aren't things aren't too bad. Found a scroll of teleportation. And we're not invisible anymore, damn it. Wow, and the door blows up in our face. So I'm without a chest piece. I'm without a golem. And I am without it. stairs. Where are the stairs here? You feel your perception being magically altered. We've now got infravision. Mushrooms are springing up all over the place. I'm gonna eat one. Here we go. You have a really hard time getting it all down. Force it anyways. We finish eating. And that's levitation, Holmes. The leather golem hits us in the right arm. And we are in serious danger. It also critically needs us in the groin. And our groin bleeds very badly. So, um, a death by a leather golem, I guess that's what we deserve. Um, don't know if I actually know what we don't deserve that. We deserved much better than that. We deserved to make it to the priest with our gunpowder backpack strapped in our arms and fireball wands shooting fireballs out. Um, so no, I don't want to see the inventory, don't want to see the message history, don't want to see the massacre history. Unfortunately, we died. Um, got up to third place there. I still got a long ways to go to get first. So, this is going to be the, the end of the first Ivan video. The next video that I upload for the roguelike playlist, pretty sure it's going to be Ivan again. And then I'm going to start looking at some other games. I might go back to Caves of Cut, actually jump between these two for a bit, and then throw some more in there. Um, yeah, we'll see. But damn, I, I, I do love this game. You should download it. Try it yourself. It's great. Do it. Go.